This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. One of the rights that is protected by the United States Constitution, where's my Constitution here? You know, the document that Republicans claim to, to venerate so much. One of the rights that is protected by, not granted by the Constitution, but protected by, is a, the right to a speedy trial. <laughs> Which is a great thing when you want to be exonerated from something that you didn't do, when you want justice served, but when you're in an effort to, to, to run from consequence, you want it not to be speedy. You want it to be delayed. And right now, Jack Smith has proposed a date in 2024 to get this uh, case underway with Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's legal team <laughs> just suggested... <laughs> uh, it's headlines like this that really make the job worth doing. <laughs> Donald Trump is like, nah, I don't want a 2024 date. Let's let's wait until I'm 80 years old or nearly 80 years old to go to trial for the crimes that I committed years and years before. <laughs> here's, here's the NBC News headline. Uh, Trump's legal team seeks to delay federal election interference trial until 2026. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump wants a federal judge to reject special counsel Jack Smith's request to get the trial underway in early January of next year. Former President Donald Trump, the front runner in polls, I don't know why they, why they got to say that. <clears throat> why does that have any bearing whatsoever on reporting on this story? It doesn't matter where he is in the polls. He broke the law, allegedly. He is accused of a litany of crimes why in the fiddling, <laughs> I'll save myself the edit and put in the bleep in, why does it matter where he is in the polls? That's a, that's a question to the audience. Who cares where he, I don't care if he's number one in the polls overall, if he was crushing Joe Biden in the polls, it does not matter. NBC News, Former President Donald Trump, the front runner in the polls for the 2024 Republican nomination, is seeking to delay his federal trial on charges related to his efforts to stop the peaceful transfer of power and retain the White House following his 2020 election loss. In a court filing Thursday, Trump's attorneys recommended starting the trial in April 2026, more than two years after prosecutors are seeking to get the trial underway. Quote, this is an unprecedented case in American history. The incumbent administration has targeted its primary political opponent and leading candidate in the upcoming presidential election with criminal prosecution, Trump's attorneys wrote. Quote, the administration has devoted tens of millions of dollars to this effort, creating a special counsel's office with dozens of employees, many of whom are apparently assigned full time to this case and this case alone. Quote, the government's objective is clear to deny President Trump and his counsel a fair ability to prepare for trial. This, the court should deny the government's request, they added. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, the election interference case brought against Trump in the nation's capital by special counsel Jack Smith is one of four criminal cases Trump is now facing, and one of two brought at the federal level by the Justice Department prosecutors. In a packed second-floor courtroom, just a few hundred feet from the U.S. Capitol, Trump pleaded not guilty early this month to four charges in the case. Conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction, and conspiracy against the right to vote and to have one's vote counted. Final paragraph here, U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin and receiver of death threats, that's my addition, not, the, not uh, NBC News, who warned Trump that he is a, quote, criminal defendant who has, quote, restrictions like every other defendant has asked each side to propose trial dates. Had asked, not has asked. So this is more just subterfuge and obstruction and delay and delay because if you want your day in court to prove that you're innocent, you want it now. But they're acting like the case is so insurmountably complex that they, they need all this extra time to, to wage a, a robust defense on the part of Donald Trump. 
That is untrue. Obviously, obviously what they're doing here is delaying until Donald Trump has an opportunity to get back into the White House and then we'll swat the case away using his Justice Department, his hand-picked Attorney General, who guaranteed will be a doozy on a second run. If you think Jeff Sessions was the worst, if you think Bill Barr was the worst, just wait. Now that Donald Trump has a little experience in how things work, he's going to pick a real piece of work. They will, they will dispense with the case. It will just go away. And Donald Trump will, will march off eating Big Macs into the sunset. Ugh. Voting matters. Elections matter. Involvement matters. Activism matters. It all matters. Get involved. Get organized. Plan to vote. Get your family, your friends, your coworkers, your acquaintances, people you meet at the bar. Get them to vote. Get them excited. Get them organized. Get them involved to stave off a second Trump administration, which by all metrics will be orders of magnitude worse than the first. Anyway, what do you think? Am I off track? Do I, do I have my, my head on straight? <laughs> Uh, let me know. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always, daily at dollamore.com. You can also just uh, do what all YouTubers request their audience do. And just, let's, uh, let's talk about it in the comments. <laughs> it does help um, when, when a video shows, when the, when the algorithm or the systems that, that measure these things denote uh, longer watch time or more likes or comments. There's engagement on the content. YouTube just says, oh, this is something I think other people, I, like it's a person, uh, this is this is a video that, that, that we at YouTube believe other people would be interested in too. And then they suggest that. So that's why I give you a, a peek behind the curtain and see how the sausage is made. That's it. That's why we or YouTubers really hit it hard. So uh, if you appreciate what I do, if I'm your flavor of political commentator, um, please consider supporting my work. You can click the join button below. See what's involved. Doesn't charge you right when you click. See what's involved in becoming a channel member for $1.99. You can help support and produce what I'm doing right here. You can also click the super thanks button or even better, go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. After all that, you're still involved and you want to see more of my stupid face or the things I write. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, all of the social media. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I plan to still get some rest. The late, late night guest hosting for David Pakman was brutal. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe that's it. I'm just in my twilight years and uh, I need more sleep. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Be genuine. Take care of one another.